Right, in this question, we have a diagram. We've got A is this point, B is this point. There they are, A and B, and C, that point. Find the equation of the line that passes through C and is parallel to AB. So it's going to be something like this. If we were to draw the line that's parallel, here we go, we've got a line that's parallel. It's going to be that line. What do we know about parallel lines? Well, they have the same gradient. Yeah, identify the word parallel means the same gradient. So it has the same gradient. So let's find the gradient of the line AB or BA, whichever way you want to go. So to find the gradient, we find the change in Y. Well, change in Y from B to A goes down 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's going to go down minus 4. And the change in X is 1, 2, 3, 4. So the gradient equals the change in Y over the change in X. Always write this out. It'll help you remember it in future. So minus 4 over 4 equals minus 1. So we've got our gradient. Remember the equation of a straight line is Y equals MX plus C. M is the gradient. And C here is where it crosses the y-axis. So M is the gradient, C is where it crosses the y-axis, and look what they have here. Actually, they've been nice to you. They've even called it C, and it's on the y-axis. It's crossing at 3. So the gradient's minus 1. Okay, the gradient's minus 1, and it crosses C at 3. So our equation is going to be y equals minus 1, lots of x, plus 3. And we don't really need to write the minus 1. We just write y equals minus x plus 3. And if you really want to show it off and make it look nice and neat, how about write it as y equals 3 minus x. Both would give you the right answer.